Because if you look at it, you look at it, it's like a seven. Oh, oh is that it? where it comes yeah, from? Yeah, like a seven. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if this is the haircut I should stick with. Yeah. Or maybe I should just keep it for the video. <laughs> we'll see. Woo! I need a haircut. Let's go to Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, everybody, we made it to Williamsburg. And I just had to stop by Linda Street to get uh, not a slice, but a sandwich because they got sandwiches now. Now, Linda Street is one of the hottest spots in Williamsburg, one of the hottest pizza spots. But before Linda Street was here, it was actually Filthy Rich's Barbershop, which I'm about to go to right now. All right, so I'm waiting for Rich to arrive at the shop. But hey, first, let's try this Italian combo sandwich. Yo, Rich, thank you. Thank you. Um, I just want to shout out to this shop because we filmed a video here when it first opened years back. Years. Now you guys are you guys have been killing it since. Um, <laughs> but yo, let's yo. Uh, let's talk about being a barber. Let's yes. talk about where the game is at right now. Let's talk about what you could do with your all hair. this. All right. So how long have you been having your that hairstyle? All right, man. You know me, the pompadour with the short on the sides, long on top. That's a decade. Your hair, but, your hair looking thicker. Yeah? Yeah, this what's going good? on here? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it looks Not good. Not biotin, man. It's all yeah, just biotin. Is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to do something like, I know I don't have a ton of hair, and obviously the more hair I have, the more you can work with, right? Right. But, but what is something more fun, fun that we could do? Fun. So, so it, the fun is the mohawks are fun, the mullet is fun, the... Well, taper, the taper are, are the one that kind of gives enhancement. It, uh -huh. just, it just glows okay. when you have the, the C cups darker and you have the, your back edges are sharper. So okay. it gives that look. And then of course the top is more like, it depends if you want it down or you want it up. Mm. So it, it, it just it just varies how you want to go left or you want to go right. Okay, you know? so how about it's I- It's just how you feel as we style it after the cut, you know? Right, right. So uh, I guess I kind of want to keep my hair up, still want to have some volume, but there you go. but do something more fun on the fun. side. So I think we do a nice little high fade on, on the side and then we'll keep the back more close to a V-shape style. I don't know, you like a little bit, maybe a line design and two on the sure, side? Maybe a just little, do little, it. little, little side that, lines. That's why, you that's why you come to a barber <laughs> shop like this. That's why you, you get a barber like Rich, because. He'll just throw in the line. He'll be like, yeah. do you want a line design? I'm gonna start with myself, a okay. skin fade. Skin fade, all right, you got well, my hair tied up. A nice, oh, I tied your hair up because yeah. this was in the way. Right. So usually how I mark my haircuts, I gotta make sure that I give myself a, a nice, uh, you know, uh, comb to the side to make it sure they call it like the horseshoe. You know, so you can see it down, look like a horseshoe. Mm -hmm. And that's where we know, that's where we begin to make sure that when it comes out to cutting hair, you want to make sure you're cutting hair nicely straight up. Mm. You know, because that's how fades are. Fades are just straight up. The person who ever cut your hair last did a good job, so I'm just letting you know that. Okay. I always like to compliment. I see some bad works, and I'm like, man, I got to fix this. So, but this one you did good, so it makes it makes my life a little more easier. What do you so, think about the TikTok two block? So you're talking about. Haircut. So I'm still new when he's, they speak this language. <laughs> and it's still, it's still, I'm like, what is that? Or what is, or what is this long fringe with it's curly just... hair? But now you got the split, mm -hmm. right? So like, I didn't know there's a 60-40. I didn't know there's a 50-50. I didn't know, I didn't even know what all this until like the kids started putting me down. You and didn't know what a K-pop haircut was? Not, I know what K-pop haircuts are because they've been out in like, in the 80s. Right. You know, now, the, now it's coming out now. It's been out. Right. It's just people are finally adapting yeah. to it. But but so. it's true in the past, like before four or five years ago, that wasn't a popular cut a bunch of kids were asking for all the time. At the well, we're in the, right? it, was, it was, again, it wasn't in social media yet. So it okay. was already out. It just, you know, probably you had it as a kid and you didn't even know that. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's true, the two blue. You know, we all had it. We all had the, what do you call it, the bowl? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we had it. Now it's just more enhanced. The cut is even more better. It's more like people are educated now how to cut the hair mm -hmm. and giving it more defined style. So yeah. We're just rocking enhanced bowl cuts. Yeah, we're just enhanced bowl cuts. <laughs> That's all it is, you know? This is what they call this the C cup. C know? cup as in what, the C shaped it's, lineup? It's just more of a darker lineup. Right. You know? For those who don't know, you've been in the game for a long time. Yeah. I would say, in my opinion, you were one of the first celebrity barbers. You know, I we saw you since back in the MySpace days. And yeah, then, that's so and long. Then early Instagram, and then so I guess, uh, uh, is there a haircut that you you particularly like right now? 
I'm always, so I'm known as like taper fades. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was like my specialty. I don't have that skills they guys have with, with the social media, uh, building TikTok and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm like a little OG. I just keep it like show and talk, like show and post, you right, know? Right. Um, I wish, I mean, I'd be nice if I, I have a team that helps build content and keep creating and show me more people about more of uh, education here and what they need. That's that's what's very needed. And it makes it makes people feel comfortable going into the shop when they when you do all these videos and stuff. When clients walks in, they say, Rich, show me the magic, you know, and, and, and fit, see what's fit for me, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to speak, you know, hair knowledge. And they're like, uh, I just tell them, show me a picture and I'll do my best to mimic it, you know? That's all I could tell you. Uh, I can't make you look like Brad Pitt or something because it's not in the face. <laughs> you don't do rhino plan. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that, you know? No, maybe it's the barber that gives you the confidence yes. to, speak, to speak it yes. up. I think it's the... the when the you hang out with me, we're talking good games, trust me. <laughs> I have a favorite celebrity I, I really like. His name is Kevin Miles. He's uh, AKA known as uh, Jake from State Farm. Yes, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> we know Jake from State Farm. I know yeah. Kevin. From LA, yeah, oh, back he, in the day. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah. When I talk about humble and and on and and true for himself, he's just a regular kid who's just a regular guy who's trying to like make it, you know, to the big oh. to the big lights, you know. You know, we we did a so a long time ago. I'll tell you the story. We were in LA and we were doing this music video, and the girl who was helping produce it, she was like, "Oh, you guys need an extra," and then we were like, "Yeah, yeah," yeah. and then. Um, she brought Kevin Miles and Kevin, and we met him and we just, he was in it and this was long before. And then like five years later, I see him on the commercials, on the Coors Light commercial and all this wow. stuff. And I was just like, dude, I knew this guy. It's like a good sign if you're willing to do a good job in little YouTube videos when you move, first move to LA, because that means you're really trying to do everything. Okay, so as a slavery barber, if uh, I don't know what a celebrity barber to me. Right, because, I mean, I'm not saying because because I cut a, because I cut a lot of celebrities. Right. Uh, I don't really take pictures of other celebrities because I just do my job and I go. So that's one. That's one plus that they don't. A lot of barbers respect. Like, please don't take my clients. And I understand. I'm not here to take your client. I'm not here for clout. Oh. I'm just here to do my job. Right, because a because celebrity I'm barber a, doesn't mean that you're his barber forever. Yeah, forever. It just means he's in town. He needs he's a cut. cut. Do your job, yeah. and that's you know. And right. That's Don't it. make it like a hey, this is my guy. My, yeah, yeah. Right, like right. you know, like oh no. For me, is that I've been in the game so long that <laughs> now it's just for me. It's just it's awesome to meet you, and then I'm yeah. go, and then somehow the clients really like the fact that um, you keep it cool, right? Yeah, like it's like just... <laughs> you're, you're a real, you're a real dude. So you know what? I'm gonna hit you up again for the next one. But right. if I get lucky and, and there was like a paparazzi that caught us, I'm like, yo, I'm using right, that right, picture. Right. <laughs> so yeah, so this is like, uh, so this is kind of like a siete. Of, uh, That's what yeah, they call siete. It. Oh, the you get the Columbus set. Dude, Columbia don't seven. make me walk into that uh, <laughs> the Dominican shop. Because if you that we look at it, you then... look at it, it's like a seven. Oh, oh is see? that where it comes yeah, from? Yeah, like a seven. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if this is the haircut I should stick with. Yeah. Or maybe I should just keep it for the video. <laughs> we'll see. So usually some, sometimes when it comes to the hairstyles, it's okay to, you can't slick it all the way back because it somehow will just start moving forward. Right, right. So I call it, they call it the crown, right? So it's basically it's forward and that's an old school way to say it, like, can I get a crown? Uh, that, no one, that word don't exist. Maybe the people who are, who are 40 and above probably understand right. it. Like, um, they say I'm gonna style like pretty much like this. Yeah. Where it's like forward and then up. That's but cool. I'm just gonna texturize it around it so I give it more of a messy style look. All good. Where you wanna just wake up and say, boom, there's your hair. In the barber world, that we are the middleman of everything. So I know a lot of barbers, they do like a lot of these, um, you know, comb, pull, find the section. See, for me, I'm just uh, really say cut and feel, see how it, how it plays. Mm. I'm more of cut and pull. Mm. And see where the direction it takes me. Oh, when shit. It, when I, it comes I'm, out, I'm really when it comes out to styling. I would tell people blow dry it down. Oh. Because and then and then as because all the roots, the roots is pushing forward, so your hair is naturally down. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when it comes down to uh, bring it back up, that's where now it just gives you. A, oh, you a bring look. it down, push it down, then bring it flip up, it up, flip okay, it up, you it. know. And I always like. Well, um, I use my fingers, but 
I do like the rice when you grab and eat, like, you know, Filipino style, you like this? So I do it like with, I grab it like this and I pinch it and I add hot heat. You oh, see Richard, you, you see? must pinch the rice. Yeah, pinch the rice, you know, like, but I pinch hair, you know? Yeah, 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 to give it that volume. It's like you're pinching the rice from the Kamayan dinner. Yeah, see, see yeah, literally. We eat with your hands, and then and then oh. you add then you add a little cold air. So when it comes down to cold air, hot, you know when uh, you put hot, it's like it's warm. It's, it's, it it could move around, but you know when the cold food you touch it, it's cold and it, it locks. So when it comes down to uh, cold, cold blowing air, it will lock it will lock your hair. So. I do is a pinch, you know. Ooh. Okay, you see that. Yo, all right, perfect. Yo, fantastic. What do you think? Give me, give me the spin. Yo, this is my first mohawk, first siete, first seven, <laughs> first anything first. like this. Yo, thank you, Rich. Thank Yo, you. As always, very helpful, informational, cool. You guys know where to find Rich. Filthy Rich Barbershop over here in Williamsburg. Bert, yep. OG in the game. Yes, sir. Man. And if you want to go to the other shop, it's in Westside, mm. and I have a, a gang of team. We're a 14 of us, yeah. and. They're here to cater for you. Just go yes. to the website, Filthy Rich Barber. Not just a singular barber, he's a boss too. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yo, thank you. guys, uh, let me know uh, if you found this video helpful. We're gonna continue our barber series. Uh, and just, yeah, let us know in the comments down below what you think. Check out Filthy Rich down below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.